So the Groundwork Collective, a civic organization uh, founded by former DA KZN leader Mbalin Tuli, has launched their independent election observation portal, encouraging registered South Africans to sign up as independent election observers ahead of the elections. That's on the 29th of May. Of course, it's uh, both the national and provincial elections. Uh, the changemaker and activist Zuleika Patel announced that she'd been appointed the ambassador for the collective, and she joins me now live. Zuleika, a very good morning to you. Thanks indeed for joining us. And you know, I want to talk about uh, the observers for elections. Uh, the IEC, I understand, has both domestic and international observers. Where do independent observers fit into this picture? Mm. Thank you for having me. Good morning to you too. So the independent election observers under the Groundwork Collective are essentially under the collective and the initiative is not driven through the IEC, but it's instead mm -hmm. driven through the um, Groundwork the Groundwork Collective. And how they fit into the picture is through um, social media as well as at the polls, mm -hmm. they would be there at the polls. This is important work, uh, certainly, you know, um, independent election observers are crucial to ensuring that the democratic process unfolds. Talk to us a bit about, uh, you know, the announcement as, as well yesterday that you've been appointed as ambassador uh, for the Groundwork Collective as an independent election observer. Uh, what does this work entail and how does it work to ensure that a, a democratic process does unfold and fair? Mm -hmm. It's it's really exciting for me, I must say. And one of the reasons why I had agreed as well when I was initially asked was this election is particularly one the second most important mm. election in this country's in this country's um history. The first important election was the election of nineteen ninety four, where it was important to head to the polls to ensure that there would be a constitutional end to the apartheid regime. But this election is particularly important because it marks thirty years since our democracy and we've had thirty years of one governing party and we've been able to observe what were the what were the wins and what were the failures and what we need to hold them accountable for and um it's so important because there's so going to be so many first time voters and so many young people who, who would be making their mark and making their voices heard so it was important to uh form part of this process to safeguard to safeguard our democracy, but also get involved and not just only get involved through voting, but get involved in the actual process itself. I think that many young people are not also sure of what the process looks like and what happens beyond them just going to the polls. So it is important as a young person to get involved in that process and also educate other young people to get involved in that process. And that was exactly my next point, uh, because we have so many young people who will for the first time be participating in uh, this election. Uh, they're certainly looking to who they should be voting for, uh, trying to make their own independent decisions of how to do that. But let's talk about the role of young people. You just spoke about the role of young people in being involved in processes such as this. Yourself as a young person, uh, being an election observer now, what is the role, do you think, of young people going into this election? What role should they be playing, uh, you know, to ensure? They say that young people are the future of this country. What role should they be playing? Should more young people be playing in ensuring that they participate in this mm -hmm. process? I always say that um, change is not something that is meant to be delivered by a certain group of people. Change is something that anyone can get involved in and impact is something anyone can, anyone is capable of impacting their community and um, creating a impactful change within their community. It's not mm -hmm. something that's only unique to a minority of individuals. Anyone can get involved and change always begins in small corners and eventually eventually all the work comes together to create to create greater waves of change in the country and with this election this year the role of young people is really to make sure they go to the polls because young people form part of the largest the largest demographic within our population. And we've seen the challenges that young people face in this country such as unemployment such as not having 
a voice in um, governance and in policy making and in decision making. And we've seen over the years what kind of challenges young people face, Mm -hmm. not just only with unemployment, but also within higher education and um, the many the many facets of our society. There's so many challenges that young people are facing and particularly challenges that involve the realization of their human rights. And it's so critical to make sure that each young person is aware of the importance of them going to the polls to go vote this year. And that is one of the first steps in making their voices heard in the country and forming part of being an active citizen. So it's important that we ensure that young people know that their role this year is to head to the polls. We need to make um, we need to make this election this election year look exactly the way 1994 looked with um, the long queues and ensure that every single young person goes goes um, goes to the polls and makes their voice heard on the ballot because it's so important for so long we've seen young people's challenges in this country we've seen the lack of advocacy around young people's challenges we've yeah. seen young people not be heard by people within government and decision makers. And so it's important that young people form part of of deciding who their decision makers would be and form part of shaping the country because voting is such an important thing. It ins- it forms part of you shaping your country mm. through shaping who forms part of decision making in the country. That certainly is crucial, especially in light of some of the challenges that you also mentioned. Uh, long-standing challenges in higher education. Uh, in, in the news this week already, issues relating to NSFAS, and we've seen young people continuously speak about some of the challenges exactly. there, issues of unemployment as well, once they get through that system, if you're lucky enough. So, Leka Patel, thank you very much indeed, activist uh, indeed, talking to us about um, her involvement as an, uh, an independent observer for the upcoming elections and how crucial it is for young people to be involved and to go out and vote and to shape uh, the kind of country that they want to see.